In previous modules of the video tutorial we have added vendors to our system as well as opened and specified the parameters for their gateways that we call connections. Also we have created destination sets. Now we are ready to create routing groups. A routing group is a combination of destination sets and the assigned rules of selecting routes from this combination which we call routing policies. In the routing groups tutorial module we will show how to combine destination sets into one group and tie together vendor connections and destination sets. We will also define the policy on how the system choose to route calls through the vendors in case of availability of several alternative routes. Navigate to the routing groups window in your customer menu. To add routing group click add button. Let's name our first routing group routing SIPI test and Canada as we plan to include the routes of destination sets to Canada and SIPI test. In the description field you can add some notes to the routing group for your convenience. Let's let's assign an active routing policy to this routing group. Routing policies are the routing rules, defining SIPI's route selection criteria. To learn more about routing policies available in the system you may watch the routing policies tutorial module. The active policy box represents the currently assigned policies, and their priority in routing decision making. If more than one is active, the highest in order will apply routing rules first. If more than one route is found, the second active policy will determine the next rule for routing the call. Simply use the include, remove and up and down buttons to configure your routing policies as you prefer. Let's at least cost policy for this training. You can learn more about the routing policies in more advanced videos. As previously mentioned, we can combine several destination sets in one routing group. This is done by creating routing entries. In each routing entry you also tie destination sets with respective connections and vendors. When creating the entries you need to make sure that each of the destination set tied with proper vendor and connection. This method of routing truly offers you unparalleled flexibility in managing your routes, across as many suppliers as you prefer, benefiting you with maximal control and increased revenue potential. Let's first add Green Canada destination set and tie it up with the vendor and connection supporting this destination set. Let's add one more routing entry to this routing group. Press green plus sign to save changes to first routing entry and add one more. We have now added two destination sets to this routing group combining the routes to SIPI test and to Canada. Press save and close button. Now we have our first routing group in the list of routing groups. We have also added one more routing group that combines one SIPI test destination provided by Green Telecom vendor and the same SIPI test destination provided by Vega Telecom vendor. We called this group all SIPI test. Now we are ready to proceed to configuring the system for our clients, namely to create tariffs and routes as well as accounts. 